Why not just one camera? Why do we have all these other cameras? That's too expensive, isn't it? Well, that's because one camera for half an hour or one hour, that is just too boring. We need extra cameras, extra angles. Maybe you use one camera for a close-up of the speaker, another camera for a more wide shot of the whole stage, another camera from the side maybe, and maybe just one camera on the balcony or something high above and behind so we see the whole meeting hall. In that way you can spice it all up so it's not too boring to watch. If you have a computer, it's a nice thing to put that, include that into the stream because the computer will output some lyrics from the worship maybe, or PowerPoints from the speaker, maybe some videos or stills that the speaker will show. Uh, so why not take that output from the computer into your video switcher? Sound. We want two things, that's two important things with sound. That is, we want to hear the speaker's clear voice. And this Sunday he came to church and he didn't look well. He had fall on the ice because we want to hear what he or she is saying. And we also want atmosphere. This story happened some months ago. A father has been coming to the church. Like the ambient sound from the hall. We want to hear the audience applaud or laugh or something like that. We want to be there, feel like we are there, all together with them. So then we use one source from the audio mixer, the PA mixer, just directly connected into the system and also we use the internal mic of one of the cameras to take the, uh, the ambient sound. Ida is leading the volunteers. She is from Oslo, you can't hear that because she is the best import we have had to Norway since uh, Volvo, I think. So, a great lady and she's leading the volunteers, so here we are. Yes, hello everyone. Uh, as uh, Ulle Petter already mentioned, I am responsible for the volunteers. Ida is leading the volunteers. She is from Oslo, you can't hear so that. So you take her yet, please. To Norway since uh, Norway, I think. And keep that shot. So, a great lady, and she's leading the volunteers. Four. The producer's role is to direct everything. He or she sees all the cameras and can see what they're shooting and tell them what to shoot, and then switch between them. And here in the control room, I have all the cameras into a switcher. This is my switcher. It's a Blackmagic design, very cheap, all digital HD switcher. Uh, it has no buttons, so you, you remote control it from a computer, either Windows based or Mac based. You connect all the camera, cameras here, and then you can connect each uh, output I have a multi-view preview output, so I can watch all the cameras here. And also what I will record or stream. Uh, in my setup, I have chosen to use a Mac to remote control the switcher. So this is the software that comes with the switcher. So I choose the next camera just by pushing a button here. Let's see, let's say camera three, that's the next camera. And I just hit the space to actually take that camera and you see the result here. And maybe five is the next camera, I just choose five there and hit space to take that camera out for recording and streaming. And over here I have a Windows computer and it has to be Windows because this is the streaming software. And the streaming software only works on Windows, unfortunately. The uh, switcher can actually output a ready-made streaming uh, signal uh, from USB. So I have a USB connected directly into this uh, computer. And I have this software called MX Lite uh, that will take that stream from the switcher and output it to Ustream. So how you set this up, uh, you have to check on that site and the help videos they may have. And also with this computer, I also launch a, um, just a standard Internet Explorer or whatever, Chrome, Firefox, whatever you have, and go to that site where you have the stream. So you can just watch and see if everything is okay. We are offline now. In the middle here, I have a microphone. It could be all kinds of microphones. 
so I can speak to the uh, camera people. And there are different types of how you can transmit that signal to the camera people, so I will take that in another video. And you also want to hear what's happening in this control room. Probably you will have um, a TV screen with audio included, because all these TV screens just have HDMI inputs from the switcher. So we will hear the audio from the, the, the TV screen. And I will use this Mac to also do the recording. I can record actually directly into this switcher software, just hitting the record button button here, and it will record in a very high quality. So if the stream has to be a very low quality because of your upload bandwidth, you can record with a much better quality and then upload that to YouTube afterwards.